Welcome to the Patient's Information Bariatric Metabolic Surgery Adjustable Gastric Banding. We learned that we have to decide in between uh, surgeries that are on a low risk uh, and surgeries that are on a higher risk but more efficient uh, what weight loss and resolution of comorbidities is concerned. Today we want to talk about the adjustable gastric banding procedure. The adjustable gastric banding procedure is a very, uh, let's say, less invasive uh, procedure where we put an adjustable ring around uh, the upper part of the stomach and the silicone ring is connected with a tube to a port. So the stomach basically is uh, narrowed by an adjustable ring and the ring can uh, be adjusted with an injection and installation of additional liquid. To demonstrate you this a little bit more in deep, uh, you might see uh, the band installing liquid will get closer, tighter and removal of liquid it's getting wider. So basically we uh, create a narrow uh, connection in between the small stomach above the band and the bigger part of the stomach. So if we want to control our weight or we want to have achieving a weight loss, we first of all have to think about eat less. So we uh, focus a little bit more on how the adjustable ring will work on restriction and we know that uh, if we eat less uh, the hunger and appetite will increase and in addition I wanna focus a little bit more on high uh, food calorie intake so the adjustable ring is very effective regarding restriction and earlier fullness on the other hand uh, to change the appetite the band is not very effective at all and of course fat and high calories such as sugar can be tolerated very well uh, just to give an example to eat chocolate might be very easy with a band so to control our appetite is only possible that we eat four to five times a day very small amounts and that uh, will uh, let's say control our appetite Regarding sugar and high calories, we really need our head and our brain to control this problem. How will uh, the band function? So we see uh, the adjustable ring is placed around uh, the upper part of the stomach. And when we, uh, when we eat small amount of food, it takes a while until it really passes the adjustable ring. So we have to eat small portions and chew very well. And because of the slow food intake, we will get full earlier. If our bite is too big or not chewed well, it will stuck above the band. And it creates on the long term a dilatation of our esophagus. So the eating rules will be small quantities. And we have to chew well and swallow food only if it is really completely mashed. Never eat and drink at the same time because it will uh, increase the volume of that what we have eaten. And we should not lay down immediately and rest after eating because a horizontal position might, uh, uh, might increase the reflux more likely. And we have to eat four times a day so that, uh, on the other hand, we get enough proteins, minerals and vitamins. And in addition, we can control our appetite. So that are the golden rules in how to work with an adjustable gastric banding. So, of course, at last but not least, we should watch which beverage do have rich calories. And that should be uh, let's say minimized and this reading rules you should repeat and memorize every day 
and you will have really an amazing result. It is very, very important to uh, follow up and have band adjustments on the fluoroscopy. So that will be uh, optimal adjusted and it will not affect the motility. The motility uh, is very sensitive regarding emotional and physical stress. And it differs from uh, daytime. So in the morning you might have difficulties to eat, while in the evening it is much more likely. And that means the most experienced physician and doctor should do the adjustment and explain to you how it works. So if you ask yourself, what's motility? It is the movement from the mouth to the stomach. And in general, all movements in your intestine are called motility. Whenever we do surgery, regardless which kind of procedures, we do have unlikely events or complications. While the adjustable gastric banding is extremely safe, all invasive procedures, the adjustable gastric banding is the least invasive. So if we combine all unlikely events, we will have 6% versus 30% conversion. I will explain you a little bit more in detail. So to control an unlikely event or a complication is called revision. That will mean more than 90% of our patients do not have any complication with an adjustable uh, gastric band performed in a center of high experience. But on the other hand we do have one third of our patients on the long term who cannot cope with a ring, who cannot cope with an adjustable gastric banding. So in summary, we have two thirds of our patients who are very well suitable for an adjustable gastric band following the rules that you have uh, heard. So the adjustable gastric banding is very suitable in uh, young patients, adolescents and children where we do have a uh, high experience with a long term where you see that the body mass index went down less than 30 even after uh, 8 years. And other studies have shown that the higher the body mass index, the more effective surgical procedures with an adjustable gastric banding are. While low BMI patients could also benefit from uh, conservative treatment but the majority of success is based on an adjustable band procedure. You might ask yourself if you are a good candidate. You have answered those questions meticulously and very seriously that you really want to change your lifestyle. You need a help that you are earlier full and your expectation of weight loss is realistic. That is that you should talk to your doctor and nutritionist to learn what is really realistic. And of course, you are willing to participate in the follow-up recommendations. That means regular visits of nutritionists and band adjustments on the fluoroscopy. Further questions, I would be pleased to answer it on my email address office at miller.co.at. While our experience and publications are based on a lot of books, we would love to uh, have an appointment for consultation either in Austria at the Valley Diakonissen private clinic or an appointment for consultation in Dubai at the McBody clinic in uh, Jumeirah. So we would love to look forward to book your information schedule. I would like to say thank you for your interest.